We all live in different countries. And despite what nations we come from, I personally am from South Africa. Anyone at all with a sobriety in them, anyone at all that has had their own eyes opened all this time and with their ears on the ground, who is over a certain age, perhaps maybe 20 years of age, can say that they have made an observation of the moral decline of the human race over the past couple of years in a way that is frankly unacceptable. Anyone that's going to be honest with themselves can identify that over the past 10 to 15 years, there has been a disturbing turn a sharp one at that by the human race for the worst if you are not uncomfortable by that if you think that times are changing and it is what it is you on that day are not being rational you're not thinking straight why because a world that is so irrational and a world that is so mentally insane a world that is not thinking straight cannot be sustained a world that disregards basic facts basic biology a world that is disregarding basic rules that have kept society thriving all the way up until until this time is not sustainable you don't have to be a university graduate to see that you don't even have to be over the age of 15 or even over the age of 12 you just have to be a reasonable human being that can make an observation no matter how young or how old you are that this here world is on a moral decline faster than the speed of lightning plateauing in nothing but disaster and so therefore cannot end well for not just those who are causing disaster but every last one of us. Complacency, therefore, is not going to do anything for everybody at all. Jesus Christ created this planet for us to be fruitful on it and multiply. But when the earth is in its grand numbers and all of its gullibility, embracing all different kinds of demonic practices and ideologies that are obviously ripping apart of the fiber and the fabric of our societies, we no longer have a future as a human race at all. Never mind just those who are the destroyers that are in trouble. It's everybody. Because we here are a conglomerate. We are a unified body of human beings that frankly benefit from one another or fall apart as a result of one another. We are the weakest link. The weakest among us are the weakest link on the earth. And if the weakest among us with their weak mindsets are somehow strangely succeeding to influence people to start thinking like them, we then generally as a planet start to become weak. We have lost to the world that we once had over a very short space of time. There's been a moral decline that is excruciating to make an observation of. And we cannot then blame the youth for being gullible in so taking this up because it appears that the adults among them, those who are bigger, actually helped proliferate this wickedness. You can't love your sin so much that you will destroy your earth. However, if you want to love your earth to the point of destroying the earth, God is going to give you over to your reprobate mind by pretty much taking the body of Christ and then tribulationing.